So if we can learn how to, as leaders, to get our team members to prioritize, if we can get our team members to focus, if we can get our team members to avoid unnecessary distractions because they have specific daily or weekly goals, we'll be heroes. When you make your list, whether you do it on your laptop, on your smartphone, on paper, wherever you do it, and get your team to do this, when it can teach them how to choose their priorities carefully and how to begin. You know, this is the, the word we keep going back to over and over and over again, and it's the art of procrastination. We'll just sit there, we'll look at it. Have you ever had a desk in your life, because I know I have, where there was like a big pile of papers, and you just looked at your desk going, oh, you don't even want to go there, because you know you've got all that stuff to do. It's not fun stuff. But eventually, it's got to be done. So the best way to get it done is to start now. And make sure that you prioritize and get the big stuff done first. So what's done is done. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on what happened an hour ago. It's over. Refocus and set your priorities. Because we can often get distracted by what's in our head and what's bothering us from the past when there's nothing we can really do about it. A situation comes up Yesterday, if we're going to gnaw on it and eat it and chew it, we're not going to get the things that we need to get done today. And if there's something we can do to resolve it, fine. But if we're just going to feed it and nurture it, and it's not going to bring us any positive results, then we need to be aware that we as leaders are caught sawing sawdust. So we want to make sure that when we're using our efforts, we're cutting into wood, cutting into things that matter.